So here we have our three uh, examples. But instead of having a diagram of the points in each quadrat, instead what I've done is I've just counted how many points are in each quadrat. So if you don't believe me, let's go back to, say, this case. So we had 3, 1, 5, 0, 2, 1, 1, 4, 3, and 1. And on this case, we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 10, 10, 0, 0, 0, 0. And here we had 2's everywhere. Let's go back, and we see that that's what we have done to create these tables, OK? So here, these each had two observations per cell. Now what I've done is I've converted this quadrat image into a table. So we have a data table. These are our observations. Instead of the observations being the points themselves, now the observations are the individual quadrats. And the variable of interest is the number of points per quadrat. So the first quadrat over here has three points in it. The second quadrat has one point. And the quadrats are numbered like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that's 9, and that's 10. In this case, 1 through 10, they all have two points. And here, uh, 1 through 4 have zero points, and then 5 and 6 each have 10 points, and then 7 through 10 each have zero points. What this is over here is the sum. This is the sum. So we're going to use this as our x variable, this column. And therefore, this is the sum of x at the bottom. Sum of x equals 20. Now, the mean of x, x bar, you can do that by summing all of the xi's, which is always going to be 20 in these three cases, and dividing by the number of quadrats. So the mean of x is sum of xi over m, which equals uh, 2, because we've got 20 over 10. So x bar equals 2. In each of these three cases, it's the same, because the sum of x is the same. We can calculate the sum of x, uh, sorry, the mean of x, that's 2. And for each of these variables now, we need to calculate the variance of x. So how much do the observed x's vary from the mean? So in this case, where all of the x's equal 2, there's actually no variance. So variance equals 0. For the other cases, we calculate variance using this equation in the normal way. And I've recorded the variance in the table at this location. So in the first case, variance is 2.2. And in the clustered case, variance is 17. Finally, we're going to calculate the variance to mean ratio for each of these cases, which is just variance over x bar. So in order to calculate it, say, in this case, we have 2.2 over 2. And that 2 repeats, so that equals 1.1. And here, we did 17.778 over 2, which is 8.88. 9. And here we did 0 over 2. Variance over mean equals 0. And this last row here is the variance to mean ratio. So what do we see? In the case where the points are totally uniform, there's no variance. And the VMR, this VMR, the variance to mean ratio, equals 0. In the case where there's uh, a lot of variation away from the mean, so so in on, in general there's some there's a lot of locations with a lot of points and there's a lot of locations with very few points and therefore we have a big variance in points per quadrat. That's going to give us a high VMR. And in the case where it's kind of even, there's some with a lot, there's some with a little bit more, there's some with a little bit less, but in general the variance isn't very high, we're going to find that VMR is close to 1. So we've got a VMR. Uh, so if VMR is equal to 1, that's going to imply that the point pattern was a random spatial pattern. If VMR is less than 1, if it gets close to 0, 
then the data are more likely to be uniform. And if the VMR is greater than one, if there's a lot of variation in the number of points per quadrat, then we're going to assume that that means that the data are more clustered. Now, how do we take that VMR that we just calculated and determine if it's statistically uh, significant? So basically what we want to know is, is the VMR statistically different to one? So we know that the VMR could be slightly different to one, but maybe it's that slight differentiation is just caused by the sampling error. How different to one does a VMR have to be in order to say with confidence that the data, that the population, right, that the population point pattern is, is uh, not random? So when we're doing statistical inference, we're going to use a sample of points to determine whether or not that sample uh, the, the, to determine whether or not the population that that sample came from is randomly distributed or not. In order to do this, we can use a chi-square test. We construct the test by just multiplying the VMR, the variance to mean ratio, by m minus 1. And remember that m here is the number of quadrats.